it's kind of like a weird wander through uh, pop culture and nostalgia via our brains and lots of different artists and producers. It's a mix of covers, original songs, old and new, and it kind of bridges the gap between our last album, Wild World, and our next album. A lot of them are kind of a little bit tongue in cheek and the ones we just we just love from back in the day which we think might be a bit too ridiculous to attempt so obviously then uh we have to do that but i think it's about i think yeah it's about just having fun with pop music and and being respectful but also just trying to do our own version of stuff i think kind of playing off the ridiculousness of the fact of like how much we can trust some some of the original artists uh that, that did the that did the original songs and wrote them but um yeah it's really just about paying homage to to older pop music that maybe isn't seen as like classic classic, but actually is fucking brilliant. And and also taking songs that often sound really shiny and poppy and you, when, you, when you sort of throw them in a new light, they're like devastatingly sad. It's also a great way of getting people that you admire to like acknowledge you, sometimes through legal letters. <laughs> yeah. Assess, but at least they know we exist, right? We do a pretty cool uh, music theatre-esque uh, vocal warm-up. Lots of jazz hands just to get the circulation Which is going. really nice. Other than that, there's nothing really, except uh, Charlie, uh, the guy who plays with us, he, he always says that you, um, like, you get up, and, so like, like, don't sit down for an hour before you go on stage, because you can kind of get in, like, you know, you can kind of sit down and say, okay, stage time, and you get up, and that's the first time you've gotten up in like half an hour. So you're going to be a bit lethargic, so get up about an hour before, have a little wander around, and this really cool vocal warm-up that we do. It's all fun and games backstage at our shows, yeah. Shots, no shots. <laughs> Ooh. Probably playing first Ave. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, that was pretty amazing. That's obviously like one of those iconic venues that, yeah, even we've heard of, like, outside of the US. So it's, yeah, that was one. That was really cool. I guess oh, it's just, always I guess, freezing here. Yeah, I think that was the thing. We, we, we came here pretty early days for our band and got off the bus and we're like, what the fuck? This is this is a different breed of cold to what I've, we've ever met before. I know that's such an obvious thing to say, but the fact that there's an entire walkway system that involves not going outside says a lot. That We were really impressed by that, but I don't know. We've had a lot. Of, we've played a bunch of shows in the Twin Cities, and um, it's always the crowd's always amazing. I think everyone's so happy to be inside that, uh, <laughs> that they're like, "Yeah, cool. We'll give you the benefit of the doubt." Kebab, tequila, Frosties, the oh. cereal, Doritos. But red Doritos in the UK aren't, yeah. aren't aren't nacho cheese. Cheese in the UK is orange, but red Doritos is like chili heat wave. You guys, you guys are getting mugged off over here. Like it's the best flavor ever invented, and it's Doritos so don't good. have it here. We need to petition US Doritos to yeah. sort their shit out. Yeah. By being nice to people and recycling. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Stop being dickheads. Yeah. Just, just don't be a dickhead. Good question. I guess the fact that we're still allowed to be in a band, and some people still come to our gigs and and listen to our music makes us feel much more special than we deserve to. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I think... 2001. Yeah, Dre, 2001. Songs of the Deaf, Queens of the Stone Age. Miseducation of Lauren Hill. Um, oh, the Bobbers and Cowards in there. Ooh. But, I, I mean, like, you know, it's up, it's up for group debate. I think we should just throw loads out. Bad Blood by Bastille, available now at all good retailers. <laughs> We keep saying Rihanna, but she's just blanked us now. Like, clearly got, like, cool block. On yeah, the we keep there. putting that out there. Who, move on, I think. I don't know. We've been lucky. We've got to work with loads of people that we really admire. Only because I want to see Charlie, our guitar player, wee himself with excitement, I'd say the remaining members of Queen. Yes. Basically, any time we see any bands that Charlie admires... Brandon Urie, I go, up, I go up to them and tell them how obsessed Charlie is with them. Just, really nice. just, just in case he meets them, then they know how much he likes them. Just, yeah. just, just to troll Charlie, and then I tell him that I've done it, and he hates me even more than normal. So, um, yeah, I guess just we put together a list of Charlie's favorite artists, and then and ruin it for Charlie. Yeah. <laughs>